Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Bruder Creek campaign in Warno, playing on the NATO side. Previously the 11th ACR put a big dent into the East German forces here. The MSR 23 and the MSR 22 left in shambles after we destroyed the majority of their tanks and we'll be hunting them down in the following turns. For this turn though we've just kind of Fallen back a little bit to avoid our salient being encircled. And we're moving troops into position at Ausfeld to try and defend there. For now though, we'll just move on to the next turn. And we'll see where the AI head. Because I'm a little worried about these guys getting surrounded. So we'll see if that happens. It seems like the majority of the forces are heading straight to Ausfeld. So these guys aren't going to be able to catch up very quickly. All of these have actually used up their action points. It does actually leave them quite vulnerable. Especially because when it goes to our turn, we'll have maximum active action points. And we can probably attack this unit in the front, potentially. Either that, or we can just try and remain defensive. The West German Territorial Reservists of VKK442 are ready to defend Ausfeld. We've got our security division ready to go. This is full of reserve pioneers. We've got M40 recoilless rifles, some Sidrungs, Jäger Avtara. We've got the Heimats in here. Heimats are actually not too bad because they actually have a launcher. They've got the Panzerfaust 44, which is kind of useful. The Sidrungs, not so useful, particularly up against a lot of these sort of mechanized and uh, armored forces. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to move in front of Ausfeld and try and uh, sort of block off this attack slightly. And I don't think we're going to attack, so I'm just going to move my unit here onto Ausfeld. And in doing so, we'll stop them from taking that flag unless they manage to get all the way behind us. But... Over here, we're going to move up with the 11th Armoured Cav and the Panzer Grenadier Battalion 152. Looks like it should work. We want to remain in the light blue so that we can then attack in the same turn. So let's prepare an attack here. We can attack with both of these. I'm not going to bring in my support because the AA is still nearby and we can see the the circle there that they are creating a no-fly zone it's gonna be a minor victory there's not really much going on here in terms of this unit I'm almost tempted to order resolve it I haven't tried the order resolve for you guys yet and shown it off I think it's probably a good time to do so 17 attackers 99 on the defender it should be fine. So this is what the auto resolve screen looks like. In this case, we ended up with a total attacking victory. I think that's because these guys didn't actually end up reinforcing them. So they just ended up dying. <laughs> that's amusing. But we ended up losing one infantry, one vehicle and one tank. And they lost basically everything by the looks of things. The defender did get some luck, which is probably what caused us to take a few losses. But otherwise, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Very nice, very nice. Uh, and after that, uh, we have used all our actions. So we just kind of chill here. Hopefully our fatigue isn't a problem. But that's removed one more unit in our way towards Bad Hersfeld. So that's really, really nice. Great. I'm not going to make the attack here, so we just move on to the next turn. And hopefully they'll just attack us and we can get a nice defensive battle at Ausfeld. Although it kind of looks like they're going for the encirclement. Okay, they decided to attack. That's fine. So they're actually attacking the weaker unit at the back here, the uh, security regiment. But thankfully, both of my units are in range. We can also bring in the aircraft to back us up. And that's going to give us 18 strength on the defensive. But it is saying it's going to be a draw. So I guess I'm almost forced to tactical battle this, which is fine. 
reinforcements per minute is going to be 8. And we get 70 deployment points. That's a lot. We have 280 morale. Crikey. Alright, let's jump on in. Oh, that's cool. Yes, of course. Urban maps exist now, guys. <laughs> so, unlike in Steel Division 2, urban areas were always order resolves. In Warno, we actually have urban maps. So, we're going to be defending against the onslaught of East Germans from the side of this town. It's going to be really cool. Really, really cool. All right. So, these high rises are going to be the, the key points that we're going to want to use. There is some high rises on the left there. I think there's some high rises. This not really a high rise, but it is a building that is taller. Is it is a high rise? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very damaged high rise. We'll use those on the left, on the right, uh, left and right, I guess. So, we should have plenty of H gems. Yeah, I noticed this before in these divisions. We've got tons of Milans. So I'm thinking we do place these Milans on the flanks in these high rises. I'll also want to bring in some recon with them. We do have Alfkada. What else recon do we have? There's not much there. We got the Jaeger Alfkada. Those are pretty handy. And then this is just mostly recon vehicles. We do get one Jaeger half cutter. Uh, probably just best to use this half cutter. Just have it unload straight in there. Uh, we'll have one unload in here. One unload in here. And one unload in here. And then we just want... Do I want to put one or two in each high rise? I probably want to put just one, I think. Because they're probably going to end up shooting at the same target anyway. We'll put one there and one on the right. On this right side we'll do one in here and one in here. That should cover us pretty well. Then I just need to think about in the middle. We could place them quite far back. I mean we could do, we could do all of them actually. Let's do one, two, three, four and we do one there, one there, one there, and one there. Perfect. That'll do. Or I can maybe place it a bit further forwards, but these trees are getting in the way. Could also do one here and one here. Let's try this again. I do want to have one further back. I'll probably put one in here. I think we put one in here and one in here. That looks okay. Alright. Now we need to think about leaders. Leaders... The M577 should be fine. We just need to hide them behind buildings. So we'll pop one over here. To cap that, we'll push one over here behind that high rise. We'll go and put one over here. Uh, behind this church, that will do. Alright, lovely. What else can we use? I'm kind of thinking of, of creating some sort of like concentration of Panzergrens in some of these areas. We can make great use out of the Marders by somewhat exploiting the game mechanics in the sense that we can drop off all of the Panzergrens into a nice defensive position and then att actually attack them with the Marders. And losing the Marders doesn't matter as long as we don't lose the Panzergrens themselves. We can also use the high marts, we can use the M40s. The M40s would be pretty good actually. Only trouble with M40s, recoilless, so they take ages to reload. But they could be a good choice. I think we're going to go with the Panzergram route. So we'll just do six Panzergrams here. And I'm going to spread them out into different buildings, like so. We've got the Marda Milans. We can bring all of those in. 
and I will spread them out probably here. This is not really the best place to put infantry. <laughs> Right, that'll do. Yeah, I might put a, a Panzergenführer here as well. That will use up that unit. And then we'll do a similar thing here. Loads of Panzergrens. I don't think the tanks are going to be particularly useful. They'd be much more useful if I had more trees that I could hide them in. Because I don't, I'm kind of going to avoid bringing in my, uh, leopards until like I really need to. For now, we can just use our infantry as a roadblock and then back ourselves up with leopards as and when we need them. None of these buildings I can actually occupy because they're already destroyed. So shoot, this map is really, really cool. I, I really like this map a lot. Anything else I want to bring? Oh, I know what I should do. We need to bring in supply. Bring in supply for all eight gems. And areas with a lot of infantry so that we can resupply the rockets. So we'll put some there. I'll drive one over here. The other thing is, maybe I should put units into the high rises a little bit further back as well. I don't think that would be a terrible idea. I'm going to have a couple units up there to help defend the uh, Iltis, oh, sorry, the Milan 2s. Yeah, let's grab a Milan to go in here, and we'll pop a, pop a Milan in here. Okay, we'll leave a little bit of points to spend because we can bring in our Air Force. It's going to be pretty important because I think they brought in their Air Force as well, so... We'll need that floating around. Just move the Altis back. We can keep them on the map, like the Altis dying doesn't really matter. Because it doesn't lose us any points or anything. But I don't want it to be on top of the unit so that I can click them easily and micro them better. Did I send? I did. So by holding all of these, I'm going to be on a plus seven, right? Which is going to give the AI only eight and a half minutes to capture these sectors. I'm actually going to move this down here. We can utilize the Milans on those martyrs. Probably do the same here as well. Let's move them all back. Enemy artillery already coming in onto the high rise here. That's not good. Not really much I can do to stop that. Especially in this case because I don't have any form of... Oh, there's a rocket plane. I don't have any form of artillery. Feind vernichtet. Wir seid wir. Von auf 
Oh wow, that unit just got wrecked. That's my recon gone. Trying to make sure that we kill as many tanks as possible. I have some good targets here actually for bombing strikes. On that left side, that's a lot of units. Holy moly. My munition trucks are getting killed, which is not good. I'm going to jump over this Milan too. I'll let the leader fall back. And this is going to be kind of awkward for the Panzergrounds, for sure. I mean, if we can hold them on the edge there and let these Milans do their work, that's great. I really just need to be bringing up more and more martyrs. Put these on return fire, even. Never mind, too late. I'm kind of hoping that these martyrs can help clean up these conquers vehicles. Well, the martyr actually killed. Uh, the T-55 by shooting it in the side armor there. They have moved something into the right hand side. Okay, we don't have eyes on it from here. I have no idea where it is. We killed a lot of their tanks. These Balans have been doing a lot of good work. The trouble is, my Panzer Pass 44s, they really don't have very good penetration. If we can get eyes on this unit on the right, then I can definitely kill it with my plane. Try and bomb these. Uh, did I lose my leader here? Looks like I did. The M577 went down. Let's 
Let's get a Niltis Furongs. I can move always the Panzer again for in the meantime. Got to kill that T-55 on the back side there. Okay, missed. Of course it did. I think it's time to bring in some tanks. Utilize this Leopard unit. FRF's missed twice now. Come on, I just need one hit. Nice, there's one. There should be another one on that right side, maybe? Or is it on the left? There's one on the left. Oh, there's that one on the right. Ah, but we have no ammo left. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in another Panzergrand leader here. We're back to a plus five. A bit worried about this unit. Let's just uh, make sure it's on return fire. Move these forwards and these across. Uh, that little Iltis Führungs needs to hide. <laughs> And since all our tanks are coming in, we can look at getting some shots up this road. I think they killed. Yeah, they killed my leader again. They haven't got anything to capture it themselves. It's okay. Uh, I'm probably going to need the Heimatschützen. Bring those in. Pull this back. As soon as these take damage, they need to be fallen back because they cannot. They cannot be kept alive very easily. Like this is just not good terrain for these leopards. Any that are damaged again can just come on back. Good bombing strike. My le leopard leader alive. <laughs> Otherwise, like trading one for one with the T 55 is actually not a really bad idea. Letting them do that, though, is definitely a bad idea. these back. Okay. <laughs> They're just bringing in more and more stuff. 
Only 43 seconds till victory at the moment, actually. Good kill. Like it. That unit's also moved out of the sector. Well, that's good. Try and keep things alive for the next 30 seconds. Okay, that is victory, I think. I'm not sure how it calculates this. So, it'll be interesting to see, because it's the first time I've actually won by conquest victory. So, total victory, since our conquest score is 90% higher, okay. 90% or higher, I suppose, than the opposing team. Yeah, cool. I'll, I will take that. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> 148 kills, 63 losses. 63 losses is quite a lot, I think. But the, the Milans did a really good job. They really, really did. We have plenty of Milans left for uh, like any other battles that we might come under attack by. So that's good. What did we lose? So we lost a bunch of Leopard 101s there. We lost like six, seven, seven of them. We lost pretty much most of the lands we brought in. We lost a ton of Panzergram Martyrs. If that's actually not good at all. Like losing the Martyrs themselves, not bad, but losing the actual infantry unit, that's bad. Anyway, nice. Nicely done there on the right hand side. We might want to attack into these in order to completely break them on our turn. And that way they can't get the surround onto Asfeld. The problem with attacking is it USA will use up that one of their F one eleven squadrons diverted from Fulda with a full bomb load. Ooh. They can pass temporarily under your control. Another choice and an F one eleven squadron. We can say, no need for outside help. NATO immediately gains two victory points. <laughs> that would be nice. But uh, I'm going to take the 493rd Tactical Fighter Squadron because it will just be fun to Green use. Is at the ready, sir. Let's drop some bombs. I think I said it. I was just reading that when I clicked on it. And uh, I think I said it was only available for one turn. <laughs> so we'll have to make good use of them. I don't know if we can use them twice. But like, I mean, maybe I can, can I attack these guys? Why can I not attack these? I can attack the one next to them, but I can't attack the ones in front of them. That is odd. If I do attack these, what will that look like? We'll have like a total attacking strength of like <laughs> eight versus their 15 on defense. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm just worried that they're going to be able to encircle us. Like this one can easily drive around and this one can close the gap. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely worried about that. Definitely worried about that. Do you want to destroy these guys? We are on three out of six fatigue. That's going to be a rough one. I mean, it shouldn't be rough. It should be a pretty easy win, but... Trouble, we're just going to leave ourselves fatigued. Let's uh, prepare an attack here uh, with these and with these. It's going to be a major victory, so I'm tempted to order resolve this. We can't bring in our aircraft. 
Wait, did they not reinforce again? Alright. I will take it. I love that. Yeehaw! In the background, that's funny. Alright, we're going to move these back. We can't sit there with high fatigue. <laughs> that's bad. But we did take out another unit, so that's nice. Also, what is this? It's just a ton of elite helicopters. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> How much AA do we have here between our units? We have Stingers, PVADs, Gepards. Oh, that's a lot of Flager Files. Yeah, we'd be fine, actually. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. <laughs> There's so many helicopters. All right. So... The question is, maybe we want to fall back a little bit. If I sort of shift this back, shift this back, shift this back. I don't know if maybe they won't be able to reach all the way around if I move back a little bit. As long as we're sitting on the flag, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Let's move on to the next turn. So these are moving away, which is good. So they're not going to help surround us. Ooh, okay. Sketchy, very sketchy. This one's actually attacking us though, which isn't bad. It's really not a bad thing. Okay, interesting. They only have one set of tanks. But yeah, this is good because it means if we win and if we total victory them again, which we did previously, they won't be able to carry on around behind us, which will stop them from outflanking us. I can also get the security regiment to just run through on this side and cap this back. Uh, how long until these guys are available as well? Maybe doesn't say turn till available anymore, so maybe they're available next turn and then they can come up and help out as well. We're holding on nicely at the moment. We really are. Anyway, uh, let's stop uh, jibby-jabbering. <laughs> jibby-jabbering. <laughs> we'll just actually, actually do something here. Do I want to bring in the bombers now or do I want to wait? These have four action points remaining, so they're not going to be able to reach. These have nine, but that's the, the crappy one. We've still got these guys to deal with, but that's basically the same that's attacking me here. I don't think they're going to be in range to because they... Actually, they still have like six action points. Wait, so they could easily outflank us. Huh. All right, well, I think I am going to bring in the bombers for this one. Should be good fun. Let's tactical battle. And uh, we'll jump on in. The good old F-111s. Ooh. On a different map. The yeah, airfield map. Huh. All right, well, that's a bit different. Technically, the eight gems are going to be better here because we have like more open ground. Also, the leopards are going to be better here as well. I think best bet would be to defend at Delta and Charlie and let them have Alpha because there's a reinforcement point here. If I take Alpha, it's going to be really awkward having to like manually bring stuff in from the bottom of the map. Yeah, that arrow is annoying. So it probably be better to let them have that and then utilize these hide rises with Milans and stuff to to pop all of them. Well, let's just go and unload these in here. Plenty of Milans. Uh, we'll do the same on this side. It might be an idea to have some units in these tree lines. These tree lines are actually really good for leopards. I just realized Bravo is a thing as well. Um, they only have 134 morale. I think we just whittle them down and let them have Bravo and Alpha. 
otherwise we're going to be overextending, I think. All right, uh, let's bring in Avocado, of course. Both of these. Uh, I'm going to need some recon in the middle. And we'll need recon on the right, so that'll do. Um, actually, I might be able to get away with just putting these in here, if I've got normal reserve fire. Cool. Uh, in this center area, this would be a good place to, to put our tanks. So I can actually bring in some tanks. That's good. With a uh, oops. We'll put a leopard leader there as well. I'm going to put a Iltis Fudongs in the back side. We'll put an Iltis Fudongs in here as well. I'm also going to put an infantry leader on that right side. Another thing I'm kind of thinking of doing since they do have enemy enemy aircraft, we're going to pop in a bunch of Fliegerfast. And maybe we'll be able to catch out an aircraft or two. If they try and rocket bomb or whatever. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, so that's one of those. We're going to want to get supply in. We'll use the trucks because I lost a lot of the M113s previously. Uh, we'll just put trucks behind these buildings. And hopefully they can stay alive. <laughs> Do the same here. Okay. I'll add a couple of M40s into these buildings. I, I might as well put Milan in here, Milan in here. Well, we have tons of Milans, isn't it? A to gem heaven, this is. Okay. Uh, we just have so many points, I don't even know what to do with them. I could maybe have a bunch of tanks maybe a little bit further back here. That's a couple here, to be honest. couple in here. We got like four there, we got four here. And I'm protecting the left side of this little village. Let's go for Panzergrands with Marder Milans. And then maybe we just invest the rest in the bombers. We're gonna have a lot of recon information. I think we do that. Yeah, we just, just bomb. Let's see what bombers we actually get. So we have the 12, 227 kilogram bomb variant. We've got the laser guided bomb variant. We've got the napalm variant. And we also have the cluster variant. I don't know what the difference is between the LGB2 and the LGB version. They both have GBU-10s. I just bought them by accident, but it's fine. We'll make use of them regardless. The The cluster one's going to be the most important. And maybe the laser guided bomb ones for blowing up their commands. Actually, might be able to get this a little bit further up. Right, let's just move these back. <laughs> so that's a lot of Iltis. Good kill. I'm going to bring up some more Marder 
103 Milan's on the left. Oh. So we're going to want to shift these back a little bit. So they only engage at their main gun range. And cannot be hit by these conquers. That's a lot of conquers. <laughs> Alright, here goes. Time to bring in the bombers. Get rid of these big blobs with cluster. These need to go to the left. And then we need to hit this road with a double bombing strike. And then this one can just hit all of those. Lovely. Always fun to watch the uh, bombers come in like that. Well, our leopard's got a good ambush off, but unfortunately, it looks like they're all dead already. You're awkward. Lovely, double kill. Oh, I just remembered actually, these layers are guided bombs, they only drop two at a time, so you can get two strikes in. Right, I do need to bring in more of these leopards. Fall back with that. Good. All right. I don't think it's gone too bad. They haven't even attacked this one on the right yet. There's 88 points worth of units left. We're just going to keep piling in more leopards. I'm going to move this line of units back, and uh, we'll move forwards the Panzergrenz here. These conquers and BMPs. We've got napalm, we've got bombers. What would be best? Probably like double bombing strikes would be best. Especially like on this road, for example. We'll just do like a bombing strike here. Or maybe even just there. Really didn't do as much as I hoped it would, <laughs> if I'm honest. Oh, 
go for some napalm. We'll bomb the Strella to ends with the napalm. How many Milans do I have left? I don't want to waste them. But I think we could probably put more on the left now things have calmed down a little bit. We'll just move these back over here and then we can bring in some supply. Great. So far, so good. Is there a particular place where they're firing artillery from? Because it might be worth trying to bomb them. I'm going to hit their supply for sure. I'm probably going to laser guide a bomb where they're firing from actually. Don't know if that would have got the kill. That'd be really good to get rid of some of these artillery pieces. Just bomb the BMP on the way out. Oh, double kill. Oh, almost. Let's get some more Panzergrenz over here. Take out the artillery. Good kill. Thankfully, quite a lot of ECM on these F 111s. Let's run out of rockets. I need to get more of these in. Actually, it doesn't matter if, if I've only got them for one turn. Really, I mean, it does affect my morale in game, but. That's interesting to think about. Ooh, SU. Did I bring in. I did bring in Flicker Fast, didn't I? Oh, I guess they're too far away. Eleven's coming. Let's 
use the martyrs aggressively to try and kill some of these BMPs. Because the BMPs are pretty much all they're going to have to throw at us now. Palms ready to go. Nice kill onto an artillery piece. Here comes the napalm. Unfortunately, he landed on the wrong side there. would have liked to have killed those Strela 2Ms, it would have made it a lot safer for my F-111s. But, doing well on the defense here, keeping them at bay. Slowly ticking towards victory. I guess that's a little bit of a problem. Still a lot more bombers. Well, and artillery, sorry. Artillery is the main problem here. Good. Go on. Nice. That was a triple kill. Big. Only got a kill. A couple more units. Get the kill on this BMP2 while the infantry is inside, and that's GG. There we go. And that was a major victory, not a total victory. Interesting, because we had a loss ratio less than 50%. That must have been close. Must have been very close. I'll take a major victory, especially taking out a lot of these boards because very nice, very nice indeed. All right, let's see what they do next. Are they going to go for the encirclement? I think they could. General, the Panzer Brigade 14 can finally deploy in full. We now have a real chance to control Alsfeld. All right. Well, here it is. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Lovely. Zoom up. Nice and far. Gonna move these up as far as I can. And uh, these will move up a little bit. And then we'll deploy air. Now that actually doesn't deploy that far. Not compared to the book. The book was like crazy big. Interesting. Well, not quite sure what to do here with these guys, because there is still a chance, right, that they get cut off. There's also a lot of forces that could attack. I think we maybe fall back this turn and then push back into Alsford next turn. That's what I'm thinking. 
so we don't just sacrifice all of these units. But that's it for now, guys, because unfortunately it has been my time. A very interesting episode. Really, really fun to be playing on the defensive. I like that a lot. Uh, especially with the urban map when we were actually in Ellsfeld. That was cool. Very, very cool. Looking forward to more of those sorts of battles. But that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,